so I started to watch this video about the rich men north of Richmond. I didn't finish, but it hits me that a lot of people are saying we got to fix the country and we got to save the world. And oh, geez, everybody's got a cause anyway. Join this, join this organization, join this group. Watch out for the collapse. Uh, Watch out for the virus, watch out for the fallen towers, watch out for the bad people that do this stuff. But, as um, far as I know, anything that could be said about a lot of these people could be said about ourselves. In other words, it's the government, people want to say. Well, yeah, some people in the government are corrupt and this and that. Or it's the... Roman Catholics, people want to say, oh, yeah, some people that are Roman Catholics are corrupt. It's the Jews. It's the Jesuits. Yeah, <clears throat> some of them are likely corrupt. Uh, it's the white people, it's the black people, it's the men, it's the women, it's the parents, it's the children. It's the Mexicans, it's the Americans, it's the Chinese, it's the bumblebees, I don't know. Anyway, so... What I'm trying to get at is when, especially when people say it's the government, I would like to ask what's different between the government and you, because, you know, the phrase does say, clearly it's a government of the people, for the people, and guess what, by the people. So, basically, people are making their decisions to support it. Now, maybe not directly, um, there's a lot of things I may be ignorant of when it comes to the processes of how the system works, but I do know this. And this is the point of the video. <clears throat> that most of the people I'm talking to have decided, or have had decided for them by their parents, to take up the social security number and use it. And uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I remember when I was about that age, I hadn't had one. I wasn't, it wasn't forced upon me, which I'm thankful for because it, uh, the way it happened with me was, uh, it showed me directly that my rebellion against my father's house was in almost direct connection to rebellion against my father's house was in direct connection to the getting of the social security number. In other words, I was fat and happy, well fed and everything else. Now the strife in the home and things like that, you know, the things that might have quote unquote caused me to leave. That's that's immaterial to this discussion, I believe, mostly. Because as far as me personally goes, now this this is disregarding any influences from the outside. You know, my people all have influences whether they acknowledge it or not. A lot of religious people will say, well you are where you are today because of the choices you've made, as if <clears throat> you fully knew all the implications of every choice you made. No, it's just not true when you're young. They're, and when some people a lot when they're older. They, there's, <laughs> they're reflecting their influences. However, so yeah, I, I left my father's house physically to go get a job that sounded exciting. In order to do that, get paid money in dollars, I had to subscribe to the system, which meant getting a number so I could be tracked and pay my, uh, so I could grease the palms, uh, what do you call, bribe the officials to take me into their system. Well, I guess it's called paying taxes. To be patriotic, right? If I don't pay taxes, how can I be a good person, right? And if we want to get into the book that says, you know, if you owe, if you owe taxes, pay them. This is why you pay taxes, to support those that punish evil and reward those who do good, which would be the government, theoretically. But there is the word if there. It's only two letters, but it's there. Well, I mean, we're speaking English here, so please forgive me, the rest of the world that doesn't speak it. Anyway, so I thought I'd point that out to a lot of people that want to get on the bandwagon and fight for the cause and buy firearms and, you know, store water and whatever else. Let's take a look at ourselves and think, not how am I making the world a better place, but how have I actually participated in the demise of the country, my life in general, by, generally speaking, chasing after wealth. 
I mean, I understand you can have wealth and not, it doesn't have to master you. Anyway, something to think about. Um, you can use wealth for all kinds of good things and more power to you if you do. Um, but just food, a little bit of food for thought for maybe a few people uh, to think about. So yeah, I think you'll find that if you do without the number, you'll have to start trading in orange peels and whatnot, or whatever you got that's, uh, you know, whatever somebody else wants. Because there's no law as far as no, I, I haven't signed anything, and there's no law against uh, trading anything in the private, I guess is the legal definition for it. So you're, you're you know, I'm, trade, I'm trading this pile of weeds for that bag of feed or whatever. My old t-shirts for your brand new uh, toaster oven. Anyway, but being in the system, it's hard to get out because there's so many conveniences in it and uh, benefits and privileges, as they say. Okay, man, this is getting long. Six minutes already. That's about my attention span on YouTube, so I'll cut it short there. Just to, Mainly the thought I'm trying to get across is, where are you with that? Where am I with that? Can I trade you an oil... An, can I trade you an orange peel for a ride to, say, Nebraska or Louisiana? Will that work for you? Or do you always have to take cash dollars or some form of them in exchange and payment? Because I believe there are things that are of value in this universe that don't always include those things. Uh, the, the cash dollars, the monetary piece of paper, whatever it is that uh, they call money. Now, silver and gold, those things, of course, are valuable, you know, because they have uses, obviously, you know, where would your electronics be today without, I would, would I be able to do this with you without silver, or maybe some gold, too? All right, that's the news. Okay, so much for philosophy for today.